so this is little bit probably this video will be little bit lengthy because today in this video tutorial i'm going to share with you radial conduction heat transfer through hollow sphere as well as composite spherical coordinate well both the topic topics are most important and uh, hopefully you will enjoy the tutorial so let's go for it so first of all uh, in first tutorial i mean first half of the tutorial i'm going to share with you hollow sphere i mean how radial conduction of heat transfer we can find out because uh, for the case of hollow sphere so first of all we have to draw we have to draw a hollow sphere right and suppose that this is r1 and this is r2 this is internal radii and this is outer radii of the sphere okay this is spherical coordinate suppose that okay now now i'm not going to share with you what to write what to do next i'm going to share with you what exactly you need to do next for finding out the radial heat transfer okay now most of the time what happen if you are preparing for complete examination then what you have to do we have to just remember this form I and mean, this diagram and you need to explain it what you are doing exactly i mean construction of this diagram right so uh, for derivation point of view what you have to do we need to know if you are deriving anything for conduction then you need to know fourier's law fourier's law what this law tells q is equal to minus k a dt by dx this law is all about this okay and this q is in joule per second or what most important thing is that fourier's law is this law is only for conduction so you will not confuse you will not get confused okay you don't need to be confused if you wanted to drive radial conduction heat transfer through a uh, hollow sphere right now we know that the, uh, we know this equation right so what happened what happened we know what is k thermal conductivity we know dt we know dt uh, dx and now area you know what is the formula for finding out area of the sphere that is 4 pi r square 4 pi r square right if r is the radius now we are having a hollow sphere so there are two radius one is r1 and one other is r2 and again suppose that here temperature is t1 and temperature t2 so we are having two temperature t1 and t2 so best way to utilize these two things is to, by doing integration so we are going to integrate this that's why we can get this one also and we can get this one also and we can get the exact value of it so here dx is not dx here dx is dr because the conduction is taking place radially so that's why we have to get here the topic itself what we have to do okay now let me use another pen okay so what exactly we are going to do here we are going to integrate this equation suppose that we are having q and r1 to r2 so dr and 4 pi r square let's say r square and ka ka 4 pi okay now t1 to t2 and here dt this is it this is it there is nothing left I think so right now we have to integrate this one and this one integration of this one is quite simple because we know k 4 pi t t1 to t2 here r1 to r2 minus 2 because it is going outside so minus 2 plus 1 and minus 2 plus 1 r1 to r2 here minus k 4 pi t2 minus t1 if i will multiply this minus sign with this then what will happen k 4 k pi t1 minus t2 okay now here what what we have to do minus 1 by r1 that means okay that's okay and r1 to r2 so minus 1 let's take this minus sign outside minus sign R1, uh, sorry r2 minus r1 okay is equal to the same do is equal to the same thing do okay don't write this do in the examination because if you write this thing in the examination probably examiner is not going to give you marks but if you are preparing for complete examination don't require to do derivation if they'll ask in a i mean if you are preparing for any subjective examination subjective complete examination just like upsc then 
this is this is required but don't again don't repeat this okay this is for understanding only now so what we got here this one we have to do something with this one so what we got here r1 r2 r1 minus oh, r1 r2 so r2 minus r1 then what will happen r1 minus r2 right so we got it now because minus n is this side this way this will become r2 minus r1 r1 r2 okay so what we got here this side we got this sign so so what will be the ultimate one i mean q is also here we have left somewhere q right q is also here q is also here so ultimately after doing all this what we are going to get q is equal to t1 minus t2 r2 minus r1 4 pi k r1 r2 and this r2 minus r1 this one is known as rts thermal resistance now most important thing well we have derived the equation for hallway square how to find out q how to find out q we got the formula now what we have to do we have to find out find out we have to find out another thing that is thermal circuit what is thermal circuit we need to know without knowing that so the thermal circuit for this hollow sphere would be like this so suppose that this is a and t1 t2 there is heat transferring here and this is rth so rth is equal to what r2 minus r1 4 pi k r1 r2 this is the rth thermal resistance for this hollow sphere so we got this formula this formula is playing most important role for finding out conduction radial heat conduction in case of hollow sphere now 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 in the next part and this one is for hollow sphere right i'm going to just i'm going to share with you this one also composite spherical coordinate because most of the time if you if you are preparing for computer examination and objective type then you are going to get question from here maybe but for preparing subjective type then most of the time you are going to get question from here because from here question will be little bit lengthier okay so let's go for next one spherical okay i have to get another piece yeah i got it so this derivation will be for spherical spherical composite container i must say okay so here suppose that we are having a hollow sphere then then this is a composite because this is a different material this is made of different material and this one is made of different material so this is the composite one suppose that this one is r1 this one is r2 and this one is r3 t1 t2 and t3 so uh, i am not going through the whole details as i have gone through for hollow spherical coordinate i am here to share with you exactly what you have to do okay now first draw a thermal circuit diagram this is for t1 this is t2 and this is t3 so we have to get rt1 and rth2 if anyhow we can manage to get these two then we can easily write or easily find out heat conduction in this uh, in this case right so how we can able to get that we know that rts is equal to rt r2 minus r1 4 pi k r1 r2 for this case and for this case what will happen r3 minus r2 4 pi k r3 r2 now we know that q is equal to t1 minus t3 t1 minus t3 according to this circuit i am writing and summation of rts total thermal resistance because of this composite spherical coordinate or container so t1 minus t3 summation r2 minus r1 we just need to write this 4 pi k r1 r2 plus r3 minus r2 4 pi k r3 r2 what 
do you think I am very fast? I am not exactly because this is repeating. I don't want to waste your time. I want to utilize time every second. I hope you understand the topic, right? How to find out transfer of heat. And this is joule per second or watt. So this is all about this lecture. Thanks for watching. See you soon in my next video. Bye-bye.